Sometimes life will take you to your knees. Sometimes you have to cry. Sometimes will hurt deep inside. In time of adversity, you don't have an obstacle to deal with. You have a choice to make. You can suffer or you can choose to do whatever you need to do to liberate yourself. Whatever you need to do to reinvent yourself. Whatever you need to do to overcome whatever you are stuck in right now. It does not have to be your residency. You keep standing. No matter how rough the sea, you keep standing. No matter what, you don't give up. You keep standing. No matter what. You gotta be bold in life, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not bold, if you're not standing up inside yourself, if you're not willing to call into being the highest and the strongest that's within you when you're facing life's challenges, life will trample you. But see, when you discover the truth of this goodness, this power that you have within you, that truth will set you free from ever being a victim in life. That truth will enable you to handle things with a level of equanimity that will surprise you. Getting unstuck means that you are going to start living life on your terms, rather than just gliding through every day on automatic. That you have a special power within that you know that things are going to get better for you. You know that you can handle this. And because you want some different kind of results in your life, you've got to decide that I'm going to go all out. We decide which moments define us. Will it be the moment we get knocked down? Or will it be the moment when we get back up? This is when we show the world what we're made of. Listen to me, you can't give up. If it was easy, everybody would do it. But if life's got you down, I need you to get up and prove them wrong. People who operate in darkness, they are relentless. They never stop. And we have to make it our full-time job to fight back. You got to put your foot down. You got to get an attitude. You got to get fired up. You got to get up, look at the man in the mirror and go, this is what I'm doing today, whether they like it or not. I don't give a fuck. Everybody's focusing on the stupidity things that they got on the news. Don't watch the news no more. I give you the real news. You know what the news is about today? You and how you're going to conquer the world. And don't be disturbed because no one else can see it. That's not unusual. You've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. You need to change on how you look at those people, what they say to you. You got to start armoring your mind. Start preparing yourself for what's out here in life. Build confidence. Build self-esteem. So if people talk shit to you, it doesn't fucking matter. That's great power in adversity. If you're a victim of any kind, make sure you use that shit to become successful. It's about going that extra step in front of camp. That's what builds self-respect, self-esteem, self-discipline, all those things. Learn to not let life hijack your brain. Don't allow all these things to make you a lesser person. You must own your mind. Don't let life own yours. Everybody has a defining moment. Whatever your defining moment is, own it. And say to yourself, after today, I will do whatever it takes to become everything I can become. Raise the bar on yourself. Challenge yourself. Expect things to be great for you because you're going to show up differently. Fight like a warrior and die a legend. Whatever you do, don't lose your head. Pull your feelings out of it. Pull your insecurities out of it. Be strong and very courageous. If you are going to birth your dream, your calling, your passion, you can't draw back when life gets tough. You've got to stand up to it and push. Push through it. Tragedy and trials come to everybody. Only the strong survive. You gotta have that cup strength, that belly strength, that devil defined come hell or hot water strength. That inner strength, that when I can't do as I would, I'm going to do as I can, but I'm not going to stop doing. If you start something, you're going to finish it. Make a way. Figure it out, adjust, pivot, have a certain level of mental agility, and get it done. Keep going. Press on. This too shall pass. 
There's nothing that we come up against that's stronger than anything that we possess internally. I haven't had my best idea yet. I haven't had my most creative moment yet. I haven't produced my dream yet. I don't care whether you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. There's something down inside of you that's still kicking inside of you that wants to get out and it wants to live. When you start running from one thing, you're going to keep running from everything. You're going to run from love. You're going to run from life. You're going to run from responsibility. You're going to run, 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 run. When are you going to stop running? You don't know what you've got until all hell breaks loose. You don't know what you can take until the pressure is applied to your life. You don't know what you can endure until people stab you in the back and walk away from you. You don't know how much courage you have until you've been under fire and under struggle and under tribulation. If there's any fear in your spirit right now, it ain't for you. This for warriors, man. This for soldiers, man. And the reason why most of you are not successful is because every single time Stuff not going your way, you give up, you quit, you let go, and people feel weakness, they feel it. You can feel when somebody's not committed, when they're not all in, when they're not dedicated, and there's another level you get to when you go all in. I want what all other men want, but when the pressure hits, when the opposition hits, when the challenge hits, when the pain creeps in, when the uncertainty creeps in, when the cuts, when the scars, when the bruises come, I just wanted a little bit more than they wanted. That's how I conquer, and that's how nobody has ever beaten me yet. I have never met anybody who became incredibly successful until they have suffered and sweated and sacrificed and kept their focus and fought through tears and trials and tests. And if you have a dream and you commit to it, it will come to pass. There's something that you could do that would radically change your life. Somebody could take the hand you've been dealt and win with it. Same circumstances, same ideas. They would do it through what they thought about your life. But we don't need somebody, because we got you. You are the one. We all have two people. We have the easy voice, which is that voice that we all love. That's that very comfortable voice holding you saying, it's going to be okay. Doesn't care how good you are, just loves you. Just loves you no matter how messed up you are in life. So that's that one voice. This other voice that we walk very far away from is a voice saying, hey man, you ain't doing sh**. You're not working your butt off hard enough. You're not trying hard enough. Turn up this voice and listen to the truth. The truth is in this other part of your brain saying, look man, you're wasting a bunch of percentage here. We have 80 more percent that we're not tapping into because in this other 80% is suffering, pain, failure, self-doubt, darkness, and then a whole bunch of light. But to get to this light, you gotta go through all of this shit. When you quit, your mind says we're done. So it doesn't expand. There's no expansion when you quit. When you say F you, uh-uh, this sucks, I'm drowning, I'm miserable, I'm suffering, I'm broken, but I'm not going anywhere. What happens to your mind, it says, Fuck. he's not leaving. So we gotta expand. We gotta grow. We gotta figure this thing out. So then these compartments in your brain, they have to work. And then you start to engage parts of your mind that you never engaged before. When you're in suffer mode and you say, I'm not gonna quit. You gotta tell your brain where you wanna go and how you wanna go and how you wanna get there. I realize if I keep going back and going back and going back, your mind will say, Fuck. okay, we're gonna figure it out because he is not going to stop. You should fucking quit. You should quit fucking quitting. Any path you take to get where you wanna be, if that place is worthwhile to go, it's gonna be fucking hard. So quit judging your quitting based upon how hard something is. Because every single path that you could possibly take to get somewhere where you wanna be is going to be hard. Struggle, pain, misery, frustration, those are signs that you are on the right path and making progress. You're setting the example every single day of your life. You have to constantly pull that motherfucking machine. The machine is your mind. You gotta keep challenging every day. Life is one big head game.
And once you learn to play the motherfucking head game, it's no longer a game anymore at all. You can start living your life. I will not be outworked, period. Where I excel is ridiculous, sickening work ethic. While the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. While the other guy's eating, I'm working. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. The commodity, the majority of people who aren't achieving the things that they want is strictly based on hustle. It's strictly based on being outworked. It's strictly based on missing crucial opportunities. You might outwork me for 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, but you ain't gonna beat me over a year. You can't outwork me over two years. I'm gonna get you eventually. I'm a dripping damn faucet. I just keep coming at you. I'm too damn tough to give up. Most people half-ass half their life all the time. I knew they were gonna get tired. They were gonna get down. They couldn't prove themselves. They start sleeping in. I'm not gonna do that stuff. I'm gonna get up early. I'm gonna keep getting wide. I'm gonna stay relentless. I might not be the fastest, the strongest, the smartest, none of that crap, but I'll, I'll work your ass and I'd fight I'll want it more than you. It's relentlessness, man. It's pushing past barriers. It's every time you get somewhere, it's wanting to go to the next level. You gotta look at how much you're working. You gotta look at how much effort you're making, the intention you're putting out there. You gotta cross the line in life. You gotta go where nobody else wants to go. You gotta work the hours nobody else wants the hours. You have to resolve yourself today that you're going to dominate, that you're not average and ordinary. There has to become a point where you make a decision. We're gonna dominate. We're here to win. We are not here to play. And that takes some intestinal fortitude. I'm where I'm at because I just flat decided I'm gonna be a player. I decided at some point I get to choose who I I am. The world doesn't tell me who I am. I write these chapters. You don't need the world's permission. You don't need anyone's permission to be great. Only permission you need is from that motherfucker who stares at you back in the mirror every day and a willingness to do the hard fucking work longer, harder, and better than anyone. So what are you going to do? Are you going to buy another success program looking for the secret recipe that doesn't exist? Or are you going to go do something right fucking now and do something that brings you closer to greatness? That's your choice. So I'll hear people say, if you believe it, then you can achieve it. And the problem with that is they're leaving out the most important part of the equation. And that part is work, action, actually doing something. That's what you have to do to achieve anything. Yeah, you gotta believe it, but you better get the work done. And most people will not be successful. They will not reach whatever they wrote because when there's not anything emotionally attached to it, they're gonna quit and give up. Most people were closer than they ever thought they were to finishing that big thing, but they never finished it because they didn't feel like finishing. Or they were doing it and it was pain. And most people quit in the pain because the pain hurts so bad that they don't know if they wanna keep going to get to go. Because you're gonna wake up most days and not feel like it. You're gonna wake up most days and not be pumped up. You're gonna wake up most days and not feel like doing it. But when you can get to a point that you do it anyway, then there's no way you won't reach any of your goals. Get up early, do some kind of workout, eat good foods, clean your room, make a list of things that you're supposed to do in your life, and then wake up in the morning and do those things. And no, it is not easy. But you're not gonna get it from anyone else but you. You think things are gonna just go your way? Well, they're not gonna just go your way. You gotta make them go your way. You think things are gonna just happen for you? Well, they're not just gonna happen for you. You gotta make them happen. Everyone seems to think that this world, this government, somebody owes them something. Nobody owes you shit. If you want something, go out there and get it. Go out there and fucking take it. That's all there is to it. You need to stop this whining, this crying all the damn time, and get up and do something about it. And the biggest thing I see getting in the way is your fucking feelings. F your feelings. Where there's a will, there's a way. When you've got air in your lungs, then you have no excuse. It's just a matter of perspective. You're either going to be a f***ing sheep, or you're going to be a lion. You're going to be an attacker and a go-getter. But if you want to sit there and cry, and moan and whine all the f***ing time, what you can't, 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 then you sit your ass on that bench with the losers, and you stay there. But don't expect me to turn around and pat you on the back and say, hey, good job for being a f***ing quitter. Get up and do something about it. People who win can do sh and people who lose talk sh you can win if you choose to learn the things that you need to do and then can do them. That's reality. 
That's the sh nobody wants to admit because admitting so means that you have to take responsibility for where you are currently. And you have to say, I am where I am currently because I didn't do X, Y, and Z. And guess what? That can hurts a little bit. But once you accept that truth, you are able to then move forward with the actions required to get you to where you want to go. Discipline your body. Free your mind. Get up early and go. Get after it and you will become the person you want to be. And you become that person through one small decision at a time. Are you a gazelle? Are you a lion? Let me tell you the difference between a gazelle and a lion. When the gazelle wakes up, it runs. But if a lion ain't chasing it, it stops running. But when the lion wakes up, it don't need nobody to push it. It pushes itself. Why? Because he realizes that if he does not catch that gazelle, not only him, but his family don't eat. What are you playing this game for? What's your passion? What's your drive? What's your purpose? What's your purpose for playing this game? Why are you doing what you're doing? I got up at 3 o'clock this morning, no clock. I ain't used the clock in 20 years. My passion wakes me up. My drive wakes me up. My determination wakes me up. My ability to be, do, and have whatever I want, it wakes me up. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? Is it just a game? Or do you eat it? Do you sleep it? Do you drink it? Have you possessed the game? Do you want to change the game? True champions, true winners, get hungrier every time they win. This is why certain people continue to win at everything they do, no matter how long they do it. They don't reach a peak. They don't reach a pinnacle. They don't reach a precipice of success. They continue and understand that what they've done so far has just get them in a situation to accomplish more and do more. It is literally at the darkest moment when it dawns. Stop tripping when it gets dark and you run it. You run it from your success. It is not the darkest moment that's the problem. You the problem and your perspective is the problem. You have a dream and then life punks you. Life punks you and say, do you really want this? You gonna lose friends, do you really want this? Your mama gonna be, when you write the book about your family, do you really want this? Cousins gonna ban me. People that you used to be like this with gonna think you don't want to deal with you. That is the part of it. You have come too far to quit now. You have invested too much to quit now. You have lost too much to quit now. Get a reward for your pain. Don't cry about it. Don't whine about it. Get a reward for it. Whether you're a musician, whether you're an artist, whether you're a businessman, whether you're an athlete, the true champions at this game, whatever the game is, these are the groups that get hungrier with every win they have. Winning isn't a destination. Winning is something that is fluid, that flows through you, that is an event in your timeline that you look to replicate as much as possible. It is not a destination you get to. There's a, a lot of people out there that are constantly trying to improve themselves by looking for the one change. The one change in their life that's gonna make their dreams come true. And even worse, on top of that, there's a lot of people out there, a lot of self-help gurus and that they're trying to sell the one thing. They're trying to sell the nine steps or the enlightened path that's gonna allow you to unlock all of your human potential and fulfill the dreams so you can live the life that you've, you've always wanted to live. Now, I'm no guru. And I definitely don't claim to be. But I will tell you this, it isn't one thing. And it isn't 10 things, and it isn't 100 things. It isn't a quick path, and there are no shortcuts. Meditation won't get you there, and neither will a miracle drug, or an organic supplement, or some superfood. Getting better isn't a hack, or a trick, or a one change that you need to make. Getting better is a campaign. It's a daily, a weekly, it's an hourly fight. Obsessive fight that doesn't stop against weakness and against temptation and against laziness. It's a campaign of discipline. 
campaign of hard work and dedication. It's waking up early and going to bed late and grinding out every second in between. Every single day. So, you want to get better? You want to self-improve? Stop looking for a shortcut. Find your discipline. Find your guts and your passion and your drive and find your will. And then, you will find your food. Never give up attitude. No matter where you are in your year right now, don't quit, don't settle, don't make excuses. Recognize that you have the ability to rise up. If your opponent looks bigger and stronger than you, rise up. If the world has been telling you that it's not your time this year, rise up. You have the ability to get up. Until you hear that final ding, 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 you have a choice to keep fighting. Connect to your purpose, connect to the daily disciplines, light your fire and absolutely get after it. We have the ability to get up off that mat of life with the little things that we turn into big things. Resources, time, money, network we don't have. When you look at the most powerful and effective people in history, we're never the problem. They didn't have the resources, but they got them. How do people get resources when they don't have them? The answer is, they're resourceful. The ultimate resource is resourcefulness. That's what makes someone successful. Most people don't ever make it where they want to go because they give themselves mental outs. And a lot of people who have resources, they have other choices. They could say, oh, this is fucking hard, so they quit. They could say, oh, this business doesn't make enough money, so they quit. When you don't have any other option but to succeed, your chances of success are pretty fucking good. You have to try and put yourself in positions where your back is against the wall, guys, because when your fucking back is against the wall, that's when you're gonna fucking fight. It's one thing to be hungry, it's another thing when you're starving. Starving for greatness and starving for success. My back is up against this motherfucker every day. And I gotta go that way. And I'm gonna who is in front of me. They're not gonna stop me. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat. Where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. You'll find yourself stroking unlike you've ever seen before. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. Throw your whole self into it. All you can do is all you can do. And all you can do is enough. But make sure you do all you can do. So as we look in the future, we can decide that from this day forward, as I look at all the dimensions of my life, looking at myself mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, I'm going to do all I can do to develop me, to bring my talent out here, to make a contribution to life. You gotta get this beast mode. You gotta embody beast mode. Everything about you has to say, I ain't playing. If it's to have, I'm gonna get it. And I ain't leaving none of it behind. It's mine. Beast mode. You better run, and you better run fast. Cause your boy E.T., I'm coming to get it. You know what I hear? I hear the clock ticking. Time waits for no man. Life goes by, and it goes by quick. Don't waste those years. Don't waste them. Live them. I want you to be terrified of sitting on the sidelines and doing nothing. Waking up in six days or six weeks or six years or 60 years and being no closer to your goal. You've made no progress. That is the nightmare. That is what you really need to be afraid of, being stagnant. So get up and go. That idea isn't going to execute itself. That book isn't going to write itself. Those weights out in the gym, they aren't going to move themselves. 
You have to do it. And you have to do it now. No complacency. No backing off. No slack whatsoever. No more dreaming. Dreaming is over. I need specifics. What are you doing on Monday? What are you doing on Tuesday? What are you doing on Wednesday? You need to be very specific. It's time to put your pieces together of your puzzle. You need to be in a big damn hurry. Time is running out on you. There's 86,400 seconds in a day. The separator between me and you and people that win and lose is what we do with those seconds. And you're too slow. You're too casual. You think too much. You need to get in a hurry because there's an end of your life and it's coming sooner than you think. It goes by in a flicker and at some point it's going to be over. We get one shot at this gig right here. Life. So do not wait. Go forward.